Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are in Daytona Beach. I got the Trump flag out. It says, don't blame me. I voted for Trump. And uh, today might storm. It already started raining today. Crazy weather out here. It's been humid in Florida, so the rain is actually a good thing. But today I want to get reactions to Joe Biden and the White House saying they might be reinstituting mask mandates. In Florida, we're done with it. So I want to see what the people here think in Florida. Will they put the masks back on? Are they open to it? So let's see what happens. So Joe Biden is considering bringing back mask mandates for the country as Floridians. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, I think they shouldn't bring it yeah. back. Not necessary. Not necessary. So if he does bring it back, you guys think you're going to be masking up again? No, no. no. I never have. So. You never have? Yeah. Only different school. Only different school? Yeah. The White House and Biden are considering bringing back national mask mandates. What do you think about that? I think it's Honestly, I think that we should have freedom to do how we want. Yep. Uh, if you want to wear a mask, wear one. If not, don't. You know. That's right. Uh, don't force me to do something that you feel like making me do. You know, I mean, this is not a communist country. This is not a forcible place. Are you worried that we're moving towards some kind of communist ideologies? Yes, I do. Socialism, communism. I think our country is going downhill quick. So how do we fight against it? Stand up for it. Do what we do. I mean, we have amendments. We have a constitution. We, we live by that. We don't live by their judgment or their ideals or, or whatever. Came across this car. Vote Democrat. It's easier than working. Trump 2020. He could have used a nicer sticker. That seems to be a little, uh, little ghetto. And then we got Annoy a Liberal. Work hard, be happy. That's right. Beers are better. Beer is good, but beer, that's a great shirt. That's she a great shirt. Me. You made that? Uh -huh. yeah, she makes them. She makes t-shirts. Awesome. Yeah, Alright, so Joe Biden in the White House said they might be bringing back the national mask mandates to slow the spread of this Delta variant. Do you think that you'll be putting the masks back on? I will not. You will not. Where are you from? I'm from Akron, Ohio. Very nice. And I assume you voted for Trump? I did. And if he runs again in 2024, you think you'll uh, vote for him again? Yes, I will. You're a good man. Thank Hope you, brother. you enjoy your beer. Wait, I'm sorry, beers. Beers, right. yes. Beers. <laughs> and we'll get your opinion. I will definitely not be putting back on the mask. You're done. I am done. You're, I absolutely you're completely hated over it. With school. Now, for the Delta variant, are you concerned at all about it? The what? The Delta variant. It's the, the more strain. transmissible, um, quote unquote, version of it. No. Zero concern. She had COVID. I, I already had it. So. so the White House is considering bringing back the national mask mandates. Do you think that you're going to start putting the mask back on? Oh, I would never put my mask back on, even if the government told me to. Were you a big mask wearer no, when I COVID was, started? No. Every chance I got, I didn't wear it. Uh, me too, me too. Now, did you already have COVID? Uh, I did not. Never had it. Did you get vaccinated? I did not. All right, so Joe Biden and the White House are thinking about bringing back the mask mandates to stop the spread of the Delta variant. Do you guys think that you'd be putting the masks back on? No. <laughs> I sure hope not. I work for a school and last year was horrible. I'm in the kitchen and we had to always go in the walk-in and, and it's then crazy. go back out there. We couldn't hear the kids. They couldn't hear us. It yep. was a year of hell. Yep. I, just to put it bluntly. Yep. So fingers crossed that they do away with this because yep. I'm over it. And what about you guys? You guys are you're over it too? I'm over yeah. It. Are you no. scared at all about COVID? No. no. Have you had COVID yet? No, no. We are were you? all lucky we didn't get anything. Are you guys taking the vaccines? No. <laughs> Joe Biden and the White House are thinking about bringing back the national mask mandates to slow the spread of the Delta variant. If the government tells you to put the masks back on, will you? No. I didn't want to put them on in the first place, and uh, the only way I'd put them back on, I mean, is if I got to wear it to work. You know, because, you know, what are you going to do? You got to wear it, you know, comply with work. But, I don't, want, I don't want to put it on in the first place. So for a paycheck? Paycheck, that's it. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> All right, guys, after a quick day of shooting due to the weather today, uh, I'm at Coyote Ugly, Daytona Beach. Super fun bar. Great place to get some pretty well-priced cocktails. And it is Thursday night, Thursday, Thursday, so it might get a little busy tonight. One of my favorite drinks in the world is called a highball. 
And for those of you who are not familiar with the highball, it is a whiskey with soda water. And I discovered this amazing cocktail in Japan. If you guys go to Japan, it's one of the most popular drinks at bars there, highball. And the way they say it in Japanese is highboru. So your name is Mia, huh? Yeah, my name is Mia. Biden in the White House said that they might be bringing back national mask mandates to stop the spread of the Delta variant. If the government tells you to put the masks on, are you going to start doing it again? I never wear a mask. You never wore the masks? So you think you're gonna start if the government tells you put the masks on? Are you scared of COVID at all? I already had it. You already had it? Yeah. Oh, so you got Are you gonna get the vax? Hard pass? What would it take to make you get the vaccine? Yeah. What what if you got offered a hundred thousand dollars today to take the shot? Cash. Tax free. Strong consideration. I don't know. It depends. Actually, no. I wouldn't. A million dollars cash. No. A million. That's even harder. Think about what you can do with a million bucks. Yeah, I know. But. Can't be bought. Respect. Hi, ladies. Hello. Hello. Where are you ladies from? Colorado. And you're visiting? Yes. Wow, what made you pick Daytona Beach? My parents are playing here. Oh, very nice. Yeah. And it's your birthday? Yes. How old are you? 22. 22. Happy 22nd yeah. birthday. What's, what's your name? Happy 22nd birthday to Kaylee. You're going to be forever on the internet now. It's your birthday. Uh, so the question is, the White House is bringing back the mask mandates, possibly. Okay. Are you guys going to be masking up if they tell you to? No. No. <laughs> no, but it's working. I work, it'll be required, so you'll do it for a paycheck. Yeah, please. But besides that, you're over the masks? Yep. Okay. And are any of you scared of, of getting COVID or the Delta variant? No, no. Have you had COVID? Yeah. You had it? Yeah. So you got so, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> and a happy birthday. Thank you. Get lit. <laughs> find celebrities such as Logan or Jake Paul. Which one are you? Jake. Jake Paul, yeah, I knew. I knew it was one of them. Can you put me in your YouTube? Of course. Bro. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. We are here at a place in Daytona Beach called the Health Nut Cafe. Now, I've been here before and they passed the test, which is why I'm back here because I wanted to give them a little bit of a shout out. They have pretty healthy food, which is actually kind of hard to find in Daytona Beach. And uh, I got the Southwest Chicken Wrap, check it out. And of course I got it with uh, extra meat because I need the protein, as you guys know. Mm. Chicken, onions, lettuce, black beans, avocado smash, a little bit of sour cream, delicious. And of course I love to pair all my meals with kombucha, which is actually very healthy for you. Kombucha, if you guys haven't tried it yet, is amazing. It has a fermented flavor, uh, but it's really healthy. You guys could Google and find out how many health benefits this has, but I drink kombucha every day of the week. And once you're done eating your wrap, you can always get an acai bowl for dessert. Check it out. Now, acai bowls are very difficult to find here in Daytona Beach. And this is one of the few places that has them. So this bowl right here is called the Elvis and it has an acai base with peanut butter, bananas, strawberries, cashews, as well as granola. And boy, does this look good.